Hi, everybody. I need to find the lighting. Find the light, Jesus, please. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jayla and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another video. This is my second video of the day, girl. I wanted to make this video um, in time for Founders Day, in time for Student Decision Day, but it just wouldn't happen. So I just decided to do it now. This video, as you can see by the title, is 24 things I wish I had known before I went to Spelman. So a little bit about me. My name is Jayla, as y'all know. I am a Spelman College graduate, class of 2019. A, the best to ever do it, the best in the game. As a freshman, Jayla 2015, 18 year old Jayla. There were some things that I really didn't know about Spelman, HBCUs, college in general that I just wish somebody would have told me. And me and my girls made this list. It's on a sticky note because y'all know that I record with my phone. Y'all can't see it, but I'm about to read them to you, so it's okay. All right, so without any more talking with this long intro, let's get on started. Okay, number one, which is one of the most important, that's why it's number one, check all your emails, like read them. You will get probably at least 50 emails a day from Spelman College. Well, that might be a lot, but it seems like 50 emails a day. But I trust me, read them because 95% of the time, they have money attached to them. Scholarships, internships, fellowships, all of that. Campus updates, um, just opportunities in general that you just, you'll be really sad if you miss because you don't check your email, so check that. Number two, invest in a Lasco fan. If you wanna go to Spelman, then you probably already know that three out of the four of our freshman dorms don't have a C girl, this is hot Lanta. The reason I say Lasco is because the fan I had was a wind tunnel. So what we did was we opened our windows up and put the fan in the window. It really circulated the hot air out and kept the cool air in. I almost felt like we had bootleg air conditioning. It was great. So yeah, if you're staying in HH, Abbey, or Manly, you'll probably want to get a fan, especially HH. It is so hot. Number three, when you're registering for classes, make sure you write down all the CRNs for each class beforehand. CRNs, I don't really know what that stands for, but they're like the class codes. The way Spelman registers for classes is um, on whatever designated day is for your specific class, freshmen go last, obviously. But on that day, you wake up at 6 a.m. because that's when the system opens and you have to create your schedule fast because everybody's about to do it at 6 a.m. It's really important for you to get as many of those classes as you can because that will mitigate the amount of time and effort you're gonna have to use trying to get professors to override you into the classes that you need, especially if you're a STEM major. I know that STEM majors struggle sometimes because they're on a specific track and they need to start their classes in um, freshman year, they can't really postpone taking them. So sometimes getting professors to override you is a lot. So try to save yourself the trouble and just be online on time. Number four, we not having no idle summers. What I mean by that is when you get out of class, we don't go home and chill. As much as chilling and kicking it is fantastic. You want to make sure you're getting an internship, you are doing research, studying abroad, taking classes, something like that, because it'll really do well for your resume. You only have really three summers before you graduate. You know what I'm saying? Um, so make use of your summers if you can. Well, make use of your summers. Period. Number five, do not lose yourself trying to gain membership into any type of organization or society. That goes for, um, honor societies, Greek organizations, um, community service societies, community service organizations, all that stuff. I mean, those are great. Those are amazing organizations. But just because you fail to gain membership for that particular organization at that particular time does not mean you're gonna die. It doesn't mean you're not good enough. It doesn't mean they think that you suck. It just means that this is not the right time for you and maybe this is not the right organization for you either. So just make sure you stay true to yourself and whatever you choose to do and you'll be all right. Number six, please don't blow your refund check on ordering food. So yeah, it's hard to not spend on food because you'll end up spending on food every night. But what you can really do, Spelman is in the West End. There is a Walmart in the West End. Bring a friend or four. And really stock up on groceries. There is no shame in getting a great value. I do it all the time. Well, not anymore, but I used to. Bang for your buck. Be able to feed yourself. Get you some stuff, girlfriend. Do not be ordering food every night because then you'll come up on homecoming and you'll be poor. 
like I was. Number seven, if you do what I got on here, freshman hall, student council, or Greek pageants, mind your business, please. These type of events, pageants in general, tend to get really messy. They can get really messy. They, they get really messy. I mean, especially as a freshman, sometimes it's easy to start feeling like a lame because you're not partaking in the mess. But like, if you just distance yourself from the mess and the drama as much as, ooh, my chicken. Sorry, what was I talking about? Oh, um, distance yourself from the mess as much as you can and you'll have a fabulous time, I'm sure. Okay, number eight, um, studying in Woody is not always the move. So for those of you who are not a part of the AUC yet, Woody is what we call Clark Atlanta's library, Robert E. Woodruff, I think that's the library. Spellman doesn't have a library, Morehouse doesn't have a library. They have study rooms, but the AUC shares that library. So it, it be turning up. Oh my God! It's no, there's no shame in studying in Woody if you if you have a little a little a little Spanish assignment, or you just need to read a couple pages by Monday. You know you can go to the library for that. But girl, if you have an eight page essay due at eleven fifty nine and you walking in the library at nine thirty, are you tripping? You tripping? But a tip for nights that you really need to focus nights like that, it's really um, more beneficial to be on campus at like Cosby or the Science Center or something like Number that. Number nine, this is something that I did not know until I was like a junior. If you live in LLC one and you wanna order food, it's easier to order it to 280 Henry Street Southwest instead of 350 Spelman Lane. That is the back gate, which we call the Sweets Gate. It's right by y'all dorm, and that walk from LLC one is not a game. So yeah, ordering it to that address is a lot better. Um, it's right across the street from Morehouse School of Medicine. You just walk on out and get your food, and you and you good. Number 10, speaking of food, your sisters will steal your food out the refrigerator. They don't care whose it is. Communal refrigerators, communal, communal. I always say that word wrong. <laughs> communal refrigerators. I never put nothing in the refrigerator because I would pay for some ice cream and then I would get stiffed. Some girl would come take my ice cream. So just, I don't know, just watch your food, I guess. Eat it the day you get it because girls are just so reckless. Okay, I gotta get through this list. My chicken is on the stove. Okay, number 11, get in touch and stay in touch with the study abroad and scholarship offices. For example, um, summer of 2016, I was able to study abroad in Japan. It was lit. For those who don't know, when I went to Japan, I didn't have to pay anything. I think, but like some type of deposit, but my scholarship paid for the trip and the plane ticket, I'm pretty sure, which was awesome. Definitely make sure you stay in touch because sometimes there's money laying around and she just don't know. Okay, number 12, make sure you go to all the lunch and learns. It's great knowledge and some free food that's not from the CAV. Self-explanatory really, I mean, sometimes those events are catered by the CAV, but most of the time they're not and the food be busted. Okay, number 13, don't let your Clark and Morehouse siblings finesse you out of your dining dollars. Don't do that, don't be me. Or your meal exchanges. That's something that came around when I was, what, a junior, I think. We could start getting a six inch and some chips at Subway or like some chicken tenders for a, a meal swipe. So people start thinking, I just got meal swipes laying around. Don't let them finesse you about your money. I'm gonna tell you, if this person has a dorm room, then they have a meal plan. It's not your responsibility to feed them if they blew their dollars on somebody else. I'm just saying. Okay, number 14, don't think that all of your electives need to be all major related or all taken at Spelman because they don't. They encourage you at Spelman to take classes you enjoy. That's why they give you space for electives. Um, also, taking class at Morehouse and or Clark is actually a big part of the Spelman experience. I took a class at Morehouse and it was okay. But I think the experience is better when you're not the only girl in the class. It was kind of awkward for me for that um, point. I didn't know I was gonna be the only girl in the class. But yeah, definitely if you're a STEM major, you don't need to be taking all STEM classes. Like you're gonna need to take a fine arts class. You're gonna need to take a history class. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well take a class that you will enjoy. Number 15, public safety has a van that they can use to take you to places in the West End at night just to keep you safe. So if you call them, they might be a little irritated, but they'll take you. Number 16, make sure you sign up for fun events early. 
they come through in your email. Um, so like for example, once somebody, some organization was taking students to Six Flags and there was a limited number of spaces for people who could go. So my group chats text each other like, okay, who's going to Six Flags? Um, who want to ride with me? Like what's going on? Are we going to go together? By the time we get it together, all the slots are filled and we couldn't go. So just have your email notifications on so that you can go to the fun events because I missed all of them. 17, just because a party's being promoted does not mean you have to go, okay? It's not about to be jamming on one every time someone goes to a party, okay? That's just not even realistic. Every party's gonna be promoted for the most part and every party's gonna be about the same. You can miss a couple of parties. Actually, it would behoove you to miss a few parties because if you go to every party, girl, when you gonna study? When are you gonna do anything? I swear there's a party every night, you will be okay. 18, you really only need to be cute for Market Friday at Spelman and Hunt Wednesday at Morehouse. At Spelman, wearing a baseball hat and a scarf or like a bonnet to class or just to walk around, go to the post office, that's normal there. Because Spelman is black girl Disneyland, hello. You can wear a head wrap to class and no one's gonna say anything about it. You know, I had to learn. I went to work in a head wrap one time. That is not Spelman. <laughs> Okay, number 19 is travel light. Very important. These are freshman dorms, girl. For one, don't bring all your stuff because your style is probably gonna change while you're in college. I wish, I'm gonna find a picture of me freshman year and put it right here because child, oh, stuff, all that's not gonna fit. It's really, I mean, it might fit, but just bring a few things like you're gonna go shopping, you're gonna get new clothes, you might not even like those clothes in a couple years. Number 20, get to know the cleaning staff and the calf staff because they never forget and they're so sweet. Um, I was friends, well, I was cool with a lot of the people who worked in the calf and you know, I always got extra cheese in my omelet or extra tater tots or something because they thought they like me. So, I mean, make sure you're, make sure you're nice to them, be kind they do not forget, especially if you nasty, they know who you are. They know who the nasty people okay, are. Okay, 21, do community service. And community service, it's a great way to bond with your sister, something to do on Saturday. And it's actually required your freshman and sophomore years for freshman year experience and sophomore year experience. So you have required hours, I think it's like eight a semester or eight a year, I'm not quite sure. Feel free to quote me, sisters, if I, not quote me, but correct me if I said it wrong. But yeah, a friend of mine, me and my friend Chasmin used to go to community service every weekend, sometimes twice a weekend, and we just used to go. Our favorite place was Open Hand Atlanta. That was a great spot that we like to um, volunteer at. What they do is they're kind of like a food pantry type thing, but they specialize in making meals for people with um, health deficiencies and things like heart disease and diabetes and stuff like that, where they have to watch sugar and sodium and stuff. So that was really fun and I love their purpose. So that's an idea if y'all need one. Okay, 22, make sure you remember to look for textbooks online. Usually, I think for almost every book I had with like the exception of my biology class and my management class maybe, all my books were PDFs online. I understand people who don't like to read on the computer, but I also don't like to spend 200 something dollars on a book. I just don't wanna do that, so. Um, but Amazon usually has the hookup if there's no PDFs available. 23, please embrace Spelman's traditions. Going to convocation on Thursday and hall meetings, that is, it is going to get annoying, but you will miss it so much after graduation, which is really coming quicker than you think. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, we have 24. Look out for your Spellman sisters because she is you and you are her. If you see your Spellman sister at a party and she's in a questionable situation, don't watch. Don't pull out your phone. Don't turn on the flash. Girl, what is wrong with you? Long story short, just protect your sisters at all costs. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was my whole list of 24. I'm going to drop the mention links in my bio and make sure you guys have all that information. If there's anything that you guys want from me, whether it has to do with Spellman, I can still do Spellman videos. As I get older, it might I might not remember as much as I did when I was actually there, but I can do my best. But in addition to my hair videos, I kind of want to get more into lifestyle videos, maybe some skin videos. Once I get my life together, I used to have pretty skin. 
once upon a time. But yeah, you know, any any vlogs, any lifestyle videos, anything that you guys think about wanting to see, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys so much for stopping by this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a fellow Spelmanite or Spelman alum, or an alum or current student of Morehouse or Clark, please drop your class year in the description box. Please share the love. And of course, if you guys wanna follow me on day-to-day -day life, I am on Instagram at underscore J-A-Y-B-Y-D-A-Y underscore J by day, that's me. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.